Thank you. We continue our coverage by going back into the RTV6 archives to learn more about Officer Kim Carmack. Her name and face appeared in our stories many times over her 20 year career with the department. As Good Morning Indiana anchor Mark Mullins tells us, Officer Carmack was dedicated to cleaning up, cleaning up the streets and keeping neighborhoods safe. Kim Carmack was the kind of officer who knew the importance of walking the beat, dedicated to the people she served, whether she wore a badge or not. Before her untimely death, Carmack served with the department for 20 years. Her work as an undercover officer during prostitution stings helped to nab more than 700 men over a five-year period. But she cared about reforming the person behind the crime, too, telling RTV6 in this interview in 2002 how prostitution affects a family and a neighborhood overall. Carmack proved that she wanted to improve the lives of kids in this community as well. In 1994, she and other officers in the West District pooled their money, raised $300 to help a family in need who would otherwise go without celebrate Christmas. Even back then, Officer Carmack knew what protecting and serving was really all about. Somebody has to make sure that they have a Christmas, and um, I have a very big soft spot for children, and um, that's what it's all about. And Carmack's selfless contributions got her recognized by community organizations. In 2001, the West Side Weed and Seed honored Officer Carmack, among others, for making an area a better place to live through volunteerism and community service. Mark Mullins, RTV6. And we've learned that Officer Carmack's son is also a Metro Police officer. Officer Dustin Carmack was injured in the line of duty back in August 2011. He was shot in the hip while sitting in a squad car on the city's west side.